This past January, Bob Grimion flew from his home in Asheville, North Carolina, to New Orleans. I rented a car. Um, I got a national rent a car. He stayed three nights, drove 58 miles, and spent $20 on covered hotel parking. When I brought the car back, uh, some attendant walked around it again and told me, ta-ta, I can go now. Then came the letter dated July 1st. It said he owed national car rental almost $4,400 for hail damage. It included pictures and an estimate from this Arlington repair shop. Had no idea what they were talking about. He and his wife disputed the claim. The dispute, uh, quote, investigation, unquote, lasted uh, all of three days. A letter from the company said, based upon our investigation, we must continue to hold you contractually responsible for this loss. Our insurance company told us from the, the get-go, we need to settle this claim. Bob's wife, Sally Keston, a Pulitzer Prize winner, runs the Asheville Watchdog. For me, it was just the principle of the thing. You know, we... There was no hail. A week ago, she recorded a call she got from a company official. It was really clear to me as I did the research that this did not happen um, while your husband had the rental car. If it was so clear to her, why wasn't it clear to, to the people who so-called investigated this dispute that we filed? In a statement, the company told WFA, we are dropping this claim. The damage claim was specific to a different rental cycle, and we are looking into how this miscommunication happened. The lesson? Renter beware. Keep your receipts, take pictures and videos when you pick the car up and when you return it. Very few people are going to go to the lengths that I went to to fight something like this. That also makes me wonder how, how often this happens. In Dallas, I'm Tanya Iser.